Oh, oh, Ryan, I'm not gonna be playing this entire route with my heart in my throat. Ugh. Too many scary things are happening. Uh, and Toma's acting really suspicious. Toma didn't ask, do you remember, or do you know that much today? Maybe he thinks you're getting better. That would be convenient. Let's let him think that way. Do we want to? Also, I just thought of this, but... Were you seeing two guys? Oh no. <laughs> Orion, have a little faith in me. Your boyfriend is Toma, but you're also seeing this icky guy pretty frequently. I don't know if I was seeing Toma. He could just be lying to us now because we have amnesia. Can you remember any of that? <laughs> of course I can't remember. Uh, but for the sake of building affection, I don't like anyone but Toma. You know, I still like Iki more. Well, what a declaration. But if you're saying that, there's no mistake that Toma is your boyfriend. But it's still possible that you had a guy on the side. You really don't seem like that type of girl, though. Thank you, Orion. Hmm. If Iki's working at that cafe, we should go see him tomorrow. You might remember something when you see his face. Sounds great. Let's do that. Oh gosh, Ukyo. And maybe we won't die on the way there. That would be great. Grand, even. <laughs> now it's August 8th. Oh, Alright, Exter. Hope you're there. Good morning! You're up early today. The weather's nice. It's August, but it feels like autumn. After we change and eat breakfast, we should go check the mailbox like we talked about yesterday. Alright. I doubt you'll remember anything by looking in the mailbox, but it's worth a shot. Why not? The mailboxes were on the first floor. I wonder if they have names on them. If they do, you'll know your neighbor's names, but maybe the building doesn't share personal info like that. Should at least have our like apartment name. Uh, apartment name, apartment number, right? Yeah, let's see. Which mailbox has your room number on it? Oh god, again? Huh? What the Whoa! Let's go back! Back home! Hurry! What was in our mailbox? What <gasps> What is Orion, what did you see? Uh, 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 that was scary. So scary and strange. Did you see that? You saw it, right? The mailbox with your room number on it was full of rotten eggs and dead bugs. Oh, God. What was that? That's not something people normally get in the mail. I was so shocked, I felt like we couldn't get back to the room fast enough. What was all that? A message? Now of all times? I'm in a state. Who's it from? It says it's... Sawa? Are you doing okay? I heard from the manager that you'll be taking time off work for a while. Are you okay? Sweating face. <laughs> Inky seemed worried after hearing about it too. I wonder if this saw was a co-worker of yours. She seems to know Iki, too. And from the contents of the message, it sounds like Iki is at the cafe today. I wish the music would change. It's very unsettling. Uh, hey, wanna try going to the cafe now? We can meet up with Iki. You might remember something if you see him. Oh right, leaving would require us to pass by the mailbox of terror! I was gonna say, you were easily distracted there, Orion. Uh, I don't want to! I'm too scared! Not of the eggs or bugs themselves, but the evil intention behind them is scary! You're probably even more confused and scared than I am. Are you okay? Maybe we should go after we calm down a little bit. How about some soothing chamomile tea? Thirty minutes later. It's been half an hour now. I think I'm ready. We should clean the mailbox first. Let's go to the cafe. It's gross. And scary. But I guess we can't just leave it like that. Oh, how depressing. 
Ugh. And creepifying. Ugh. Let's just go. Toma? Huh? Rosy cheeks. Uh huh. Are you about to go somewhere? I came to check up on you. Oh, it's Toma. He's here to see you today, too. I wanted to go to Meida no Hitsuji. I wanted to talk to Iki. <laughs> well, he's going to insist to come along with us anyway. And then be like, so why'd you want to come here? Well, I really wanted to talk to Iki. Then he's going to feel like, you use me. Might as well just tell him straight up. I want to go talk to Iki. Talk to Iki? Why? It's not really any of my business, but isn't that guy really busy? He's always surrounded by girls. Surrounded by girls? What kind of guy is he? <laughs> and Toma did not look very happy about that. And did it seem like Toma got sad for a moment there? Well, regardless, I'll accompany you there. Let's go. Oh, wait! We left the mailbox like that! Did Toma notice? I don't want to make him worry. Hmm, this might make things weird. Does he notice? Uh, I can't believe it. There isn't even a trace. It was so terrible before! The eggs were even dripping down onto the floor! Maybe the janitor noticed it and cleaned it up? That is really strange. Hmm? What's wrong? Oh well. This is something we don't want to remember. Let's just forget about it, Rosy Cheeks. I'm gonna remember it for a later date, though. Not something I'm just gonna forget. Darn, it's the train. Bad timing, I guess. There's no use trying to rush. Let's just take it easy. Oh god, what?! Huh? Rosy Cheeks? Are you okay? What the f- That was close. You were almost run over. Did someone push you just now? Holy cow, how fast are you, Ukyo? Th that was scary. Are you okay, Rosy Cheeks? Didn't it seem like someone shoved you? Damn it, who was it? You wait here and I'll go- no, I shouldn't. I can't just leave you alone. Let's go home for now. I won't take no for an answer, understand? I think he pushed us so that we couldn't go talk to Iki. Although, you probably didn't drop the flower pot yesterday. I feel like I'm getting attacked from both sides. There was the flower pot from yesterday, then the railroad crossing today. There's something wrong here, no matter how I look at it. This isn't a situation I can just ignore. Has anything changed around you lately? Tell me if it has. It doesn't matter how trivial it may seem. Well, the biggest change was me merging with you, but I doubt that's related. Uh, let's see, there was that suspicious man yesterday. Do you think you should tell Toma about him? Yeah, that might be for the best. Even if it might be hard for you to talk about. <sighs> Two minutes later. Wow, you were able to talk about all that in two minutes? What? A murder warning? I think death warning would be more appropriate than murder. If I knew about that, I would have been more careful. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner, you idiot? It wouldn't be a laughing matter if that man was involved in today's incident. That would mean he has the intent of killing, and the will to actually act upon that intent. Although I doubt the police could do anything even if we told them about this. The only thing they do is patrol the area until someone actually comes to harm. Hmm. Rosy Cheeks, pack your stuff so you can stay over for a few days. Right now. I'll have you stay at my place for a while. What? What? Wait, is this okay, Rosy Cheeks? I just wanted to go see Iki. I should have insisted on working at the cafe. I should've. <sighs> huh. 
How far away do you live, Telma? Oh, my goodness. Where are we? I'll leave your bag here. Just make yourself at home. He forced you to come here. Oh? Is this Toma's house? Where's his family? Wait, does Toma live by himself? I'm not comfortable with this. Isn't it dangerous to stay over at his place like this? Well, you're dating, but still! Have you two gone this far? This is your first time here, isn't it? You came over to my parents' house a lot before. Shin drops by once in a while, usually without any notice. Hmm. Sorry for forcing you to come here. I was just too worried after yesterday and today. I'm sorry I didn't ask for your input in this. Yeah, you do that quite often. Anyway, just think of this as your own home. Well, that might be difficult, but you can do whatever you want here. I'm going to be using my computer for a little while. Feel free to look around and use whatever books and games you might like. Oh well, we can't help it now. There's not much we can do like this, but I understand where Tom is coming from. It would be nice if we could find something to pass the time. Hmm? Is this a photo album? This is... Whoa, look here! It's a tiny Toma! <laughs> and is that you next to him? Wow, you're so cute! And this kid would be Shin, right? He's crying? He's crying! There's ice cream at his feet! <laughs> hmm? Oh, you're crying in this one. What could have happened? Let's remember. Ah. <laughs> Rosy cheeks. I'll fix it now, just wait. It's okay, don't cry. Come on, rosy cheeks. When I was little, I broke a little toy I had. Shin, always helpful. He's like, I'm gonna fix the problem. I don't have time to console her. I was so shocked that I had broken it that I became sad. I started to cry, so Toma knelt down by me and stroked my head. Shin sat next to me and tried to fix it himself. I was so happy. Toma's hands were so warm. I really wasn't sad for long, but I pretended to cry for a long time. This is a memory of a slightly sneaky, but very happy moment. Shin, Toma. Simpler times, when we weren't getting killed. I... Ever since then, I... I what? I was in love from the time I was five, <laughs> maybe. August 9th. <sighs> oh. Wake up already. How long are you going to sleep? You're safe because it's me, but if you sleep this deeply at another man's house, you have no idea what he might do to you. Ooh. Ah, finally opened your eyes? Good morning. How do you feel? Jeez. You do realize you've slept for 13 hours since yesterday, right? You didn't even change your clothes. How come I'm sleeping so much in this route? Like, I'm sleeping for... I just, like, keep falling asleep for hours. Like, half a day at, at a time. Want something to drink? I've got mineral water. I want nothing served by you, sir. Good morning from me, too. Are you awake now? Yesterday, after remembering the broken toy, you ended up falling asleep. Toma tried a few times to wake you up, but you were sleeping so peacefully that he couldn't do it. Toma carried you to bed, then slept on the floor. He didn't try anything funny, don't worry. Oh, but... He did touch you. On your head. He was stroking your hair. He looked, uh, really affectionate. Oh? Here's some water. The bathroom's over there. You can wash your face if you want. You should change your clothes there, too. I'll be sure not to go in while you're there. Now then, what should we have for breakfast? You prefer rice for breakfast, right? Or do you want bread instead? Hmm? Why are you staring at me like that? Were you stroking my head? <laughs> oh, you knew after all. 
I was looking at your sleeping face, and I started remembering when we were kids. Are you still mad about me treating you like a younger sister? Still? So that means he treated you like a younger sister before and you got mad about it. Well, I can imagine that, seeing the relationship you have now. I'm surprised you managed to become boyfriend and girlfriend. Are we? <sighs> What's my parameters at, anyway? Doubt. Trust hasn't leveled up all that much. Affection has, though. I'll listen to what you have to say later. Let me make some breakfast for now. Let's see, I think there was rice in the freezer. Do you mind the frozen stuff? It was surprising when you suddenly regained that memory yesterday. But now that I think about it, photos of the past would be pretty effective. Thomas said you can do whatever you want in here, so maybe you can look for more photos later. Two hours later. Is this after breakfast and everything? Oh, it's later than I thought. Time sure goes by fast. I'm going to go shopping for a little while, so could you wait here? If you get hungry, you can eat whatever you want in the refrigerator. I'm already used to you stealing my food anyway. What does he mean he's used to you stealing his food? Is he talking about when you were kids? I guess, since this is my first time here, so I would never have raided his fridge before. Anyway, I'll be going now. <laughs> the time has finally come for us to search the house. But we should just check the shelves. It would be rude to look through his personal belongings. Anyway, let's find those photo albums. What will we find, though? I feel like we're gonna find more than we bargained for. One hour later. <laughs> there weren't any. I guess that kind of makes sense. He wouldn't bring photo albums, he's just living alone. I guess having the one from yesterday was a stroke of luck. And suddenly there's nothing left to do. And we can't just leave while Toma's gone. Hmm, we can't help it. Wanna play a game? Let's see, what games does he have? Well, he has a lot. Ooh, how about this one? Destiny Kingdom! Looks like a fighting game. Do you remember how to play fighting games from before? Anyway, let's give it a try. Whoa, what's with this Prime Minister? He's way too strong! Wait... And even if you beat him, the Dark Prime Minister just appears! And the first character, the Prince, is so useless. Wait, but he might be pretty effective once he gains Royal Crest after he becomes King. The Theologian! Grr, this stupid Infinity Sermon! He can't even guard against it! <laughs> Wait, what time is it? No way! It's already evening? How many hours were we playing that game? <laughs> Got sucked in. I figured we'd just play it until Toma came back, but what the heck is he doing out there? Oh. Sorry, I know I'm late. Ah, oh, he's finally back. I had a lot of things to take care of. I'm really sorry. I'm sure you're mad. Sorry, I really am. To make up for it, I'll make your favorite for dinner. Fried chicken and rice. Please try to forgive me. Also, I bought you pudding for after your bath. You always eat it frozen, right? After your bath? It sounds like Toma doesn't intend to have you go home yet. This is a strange situation, but it's not safe to be alone now. The incident that happened before was so unnerving. You did reclaim a memory here, so maybe we could stay for a few days. What do you think, Rosy Cheeks? <laughs> I'd like to go outside, please. Um... Well, if I'm gonna be staying here for a while, could I have a spare key? Ah, right. You'd need a key for this place, too. But my parents have my spare key. I'll go have one made tomorrow, so just hold on until then. I'll also go to check out your house, so if you don't mind, I'll just borrow your key for a bit. I won't look through your things, don't worry. <laughs> ah. Are you finished with your bath? Looks like you washed away your fatigue. Hey, what's with those pajamas? They aren't sexy in the slightest. I figured you might even put on a sexy vibe after a bath like that. I guess I just set myself up for disappointment. I guess so. Anyway, I'll go take a shower. 
If you're tired, go and sleep on the bed. I'll sleep in the same place as yesterday. The same as yesterday? So Toadman intends to sleep on the floor again. Hey, hey. Why don't we share the bed? Together? You? With me? In the same bed? What are you implying? I don't dislike the idea. I don't dislike it at all, but... Shouldn't you say that to another guy? I might get the wrong idea that you're trying to tempt me. I'm just trying- I want to make sure you're comfortable, man. Don't read too much into it. It'll be too late to say that's not what you intended once we're in bed. You basically just consented. What?! <sighs> the heck is wrong with you, man? Oh my goodness. <sighs> I thought you were brother and sister. No? Just put your butts against each other and sleep. I don't know. Uh, that's right. I thought the same thing. I wouldn't do anything, though. Even if you were actually trying to seduce me, I wouldn't be able to do anything to you. I just can't get in that kind of mood with you. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. I don't know, man. I got doubt. I got doubt in my parameters. Such doubt. Uh. Oh. Such green. Green with jealousy? <laughs> what was that all about? What? What was that vision just now? Anyway, we can't sleep in the same bed together. You're all grown up now. You can't think of me like that anymore. Hey, what was that just now? A fragment of a memory? But that wasn't enough to tell what the memory was about. Some sort of building in Toma. Someone else might have been there. I couldn't see it very well. I couldn't see it either. But there's no mistake that Toma was there. He's the one who activated this memory, anyway. Did he seem like your boyfriend? But... Doesn't it seem like Toma says a lot of things about not thinking of you as a girl? Things like, I can't get in a mood like that with you? That makes me want to ask why you two are even going out, then! That's why I'm not convinced, man! Oh... Maybe, just maybe... This is why the message from Shin said you didn't want to see Toma. Maybe you had a fight because of Toma's attitude? <sighs> I just don't know, man. It's so confusing. <sighs> August 10th. What will happen today? At least we haven't died, tried... We haven't been, uh, attempted to be murdered for a day. <laughs> Good morning. Are you up? Toma already left to go somewhere. You know, Toma was stroking your hair before he left. It looked like he was reluctant to leave you. Toma must really like you. He worries too much about things, but he seems to be a good guy. Anyway, you should get up and get dressed. Let's decide what to do today. 30 minutes later. What shall I do today? I thought Toma would come back while you were changing, but he didn't. Hmm, what should we do? I really want to go outside today, but I wonder if he'll be out late like yesterday. Do you remember the route we took on the way over here? You know, the road in front of the apartment? Wasn't that the same path from the first memory you recovered? If it is, if you go to that place again, you might remember something else! What should we do? We have no idea when Toma might get back. Maybe it would be okay to go take a look. It's really close. I hate to do this to Toma, but we can leave the door unlocked for just a little while, right? We'll hurry back. You wanna go out there with crazy Ukyo? Mad? Are you mad? <sighs> what do you think? It was around here. That memory was just a small glimpse, but... You were walking around lost and Toma found you. I wonder how old you were. Maybe around kindergarten? Your... Huh? Your! Your! It's the other your! It's your! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's the murder warning guy! Not trying to kill us. Did you take your meds today? Sweet, sweet Ukyo. Well, well, what should we do? Should you run? Fight? Start chanting a spell? Uh, sorry about the other day. I said some weird things. I apologize. Also... 
Um, could you talk for a little while? Talk? No, no thank you, that's too scary. We don't want to get into any other weird trouble either. Let's go, Rosy Cheeks, back to Thomas' place. I think you'd be better off hearing this. For your own good. What? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> we shouldn't have ran. I really think you should hear this. It's about your boyfriend. Uh, hey, Rosy Cheeks, let's hurry and go. There's no way we can outrun this guy. He's running on insane. Insanity. He's running on insanity, man. The man who's with you. He's not your boyfriend. Well, you didn't... Well, at least somebody's confirming my suspicions. The man who's with you now isn't your boyfriend. I'm not lying. The liar is the other guy, not me. So, do you believe me? Well, that doesn't matter. It won't change anything. Regardless of what you do, they're going to kill you. They? What? <laughs> oh no, he's run off laughing maniacally again. <laughs> oh, well, let's go, rosy cheeks. Hurry! Why did we think this was a good idea? Uh, Ukyo! What is happening? What is happening in this route? I just don't understand. Oh. He's gone completely bonkers. I'm awake. I'm awake. Oh yeah, I'm awake. I got jolted, man. Ah, you're awake. I thought I could get back before you woke up, but looks like I didn't manage that. You were surprised that nobody was here, right? I probably should have left a note. I went to check up on your place, but nothing in particular has changed. Also here, a spare key. I went and had one made. I'll leave it on top of your bag. Don't lose it, okay? Man, I must have been really good about hiding my emotions. Uh, I feel a lot better now that Toma's back. That was scary back there. Uh, hey, Rosy Cheeks, what do you think of that man? He said Toma's not your boyfriend. Was he talking crazy, do you think? Um, I think Ukiyo's telling me the truth. I do. <sighs> as much as I want to pick this, if I want to get a good ending, a good ending with Toma, whatever that is, trust is one of my meters I need to work on. So I better pick I trust Toma more, more than that guy. <laughs> it sucks. They're both kind of equal for me right now. Ukiyo's scaring the crap out of me. Ugh. Toma's being suspicious, but I, I don't... Aside from the train thing, I don't think he's tried to kill us yet. Okay, I trust Toma more than that guy. <laughs> Probably shouldn't, though. So you're saying it's okay? Does that mean you trust Toma? Hmm. Yeah, it's not like there's anything strange about Toma. Hmm. I probably shouldn't let that guy's words get to me. No, Orion, be me. Be the me I can't be because I have to try and get a good ending with Toma. Oh, you were playing that fighting game yesterday, right? I have the second one. Want to try it? Wait, really? Destiny Kingdom 2. DK2 for short. You can use spirits in this one. I'll leave it out for you. Yay, that sounds great, Rosy Cheeks. Let's give it a try. Oh man, Orion really loved it. <laughs> Best game ever.